It's an absolutely beautiful day today, although occasionally a tad breezy, but this is Warsaw main pit top, or what's left of it. And I'm located about a quarter of a mile just outside of the village of Warsaw Vale. This is a site, one of two sites in Nottinghamshire, for the rare woodlouse Silisticus convexus. The only other time it was seen was when it was first recorded in the county in 1986 at the former Ollerton Colliery. It was 2018 when Dillis and I found Silisticus here, and we never saw it again since, and I've continued to look for it pretty much each year. It's almost an annual thing to try and locate this beast, and I'm back here again to try and do the same. My plan is to work my way backwards and forwards along this bank, looking under old stone. It's quite difficult to rain. This is the kind of material that I'm looking under and based on the one that we found in 2018 you need a lump of this that's half buried and has been half buried in the ground for some time. If I'm not successful on this bit I'm going to try along the old railway line which runs across that way and some nice south facing bank in there covered in stone well, at least it used to be and that may well prove productive. So. Is this another needle in a haystack job or an impossible mission? Only one way to find out. Now here's a common species, one of the two commonest woodlice that we have in the UK and this also applies to Nottinghamshire. This is Aniscus ocellus which is commonly known as the common shiny woodlouse. And as there's always an opposite to everything, our other commonest species and another common garden woodlouse is Porcelio scaber which not surprisingly is called the common rough woodlouse. But both species you will find in any garden, usually tucked away under stones or bits of wood or anything that's laid on the ground for any length of time. But Aniscus ocellus here is quite a decent size. Some females can get particularly large. But it's a beautiful thing. Occasionally, some examples can be adorned with yellow spots and this one's going to go, just as I was talking about it. And there it goes. But that's Aniscus ocellus, the common shiny woodlouse, not the one we're after. Now here's another species, this is Armadillidium nasatum, and this is one of the pill millipedes, although it's less inclined to roll into a ball than other species, especially Armadillidium vulgar. It's a Sinanthropic species, so you'll find it at former colliery sites and garden centres, but it should also turn up in gardens and on other in post industrial sites and waste ground. It's an attractively marked species and there is a red form. Hopefully you might be able to find one of those today, but it's something that I've never seen before, but that would be nice. But Armadillidium nasatum is proving to be fairly widespread but restricted to garden centres and old colliery sites, though I did find it recently in a lay-by near Ekin. And typically for all last, they give you about 45 seconds, then off they go. This is one of the old mineral lines that used to feed into or out of Warsaw Main. I imagine that this is, would have connected with the old Welbeck colliery at Megan Vale at one time, but long since closed, I think it was 92, I think, when Warsaw Main closed. Don't quote me on that, I'm going from memory. But this has always been a, an area that certainly when Dillis was alive we both walked it and I still occasionally visit it but it's gradually becoming scrubbed over there's just this small path where people do obviously continue to cut through but there's always nice sheltered habitat and I'm going to have a walk down to the far end it just dead ends where the pine trees are at the bottom but there may well be something lurking. We'll see if we can find some scree. See if there's still any sort of exposed scree like habitat on the right hand side where the, the railway banked down.
It's all right. I was just sorting through a handful of moss while I was having five minutes. Doing that could well pay dividends because former pit tops, such as those that we have in Nottinghamshire, really are potentially special places, potentially holding some very special and rare invertebrates. We just need people to go out and look. But those special invertebrates may well come from the less recorded orders like millipedes, centipedes, maybe even false scorpions and harvestmen. But certainly millipedes. In South Wales, there's several collieries there in the old former Welsh coal field. And they've produced a quite astonishing array of millipedes, millipedes new to the UK and I think maybe one or two species that are new to science. Admittedly from the images that I've seen their pit tops look slightly different to ours, they look more wild and unkempt, not like this almost manicured and gardened colliery heaps that we have here in Nottinghamshire. That's a shame, really. It'd be nice if these former collieries that we have were left to go a little bit more wild, but gradually they're all being tamed and more or less turned into parks. That doesn't seem to be happening in Wales, and the amount of new species, quite astonishing that so many new species can occur in one small part of the country one small part of the UK they've obviously been brought in over the years because a lot of materials were imported and brought into coal mines let's hope that with a bit of effort such species could turn up on a Nottinghamshire pit top unfortunately we've lost the last of our wild pit tops was which was the old thaws we picked up at Edwinstone that's now been compartmentised and grassed and will be home to many long old cattle during the summer months no doubt. What an opportunity missed. Now here's a nice selection of Armadillidium nasatum. Some nice colour forms here. Notably the brown one there in the centre but there's another another one just at the top here. A variety of different sizes and these are the normal sort of colour forms for 95% or so of Armadillidium nasatum. It's a cracking species and that's a lovely form, that brown form there. Typically found in situations like this, almost like a scree type habitat. But they will turn up under loose stones on any colliery site. This is a species waiting to be recorded at many former collieries. Not just the ones that I've visited, and Dillis and myself have visited. But this is a great view, a lovely selection of Armadillidium nasatum. Unfortunately, no Silisticus convexus with it. But we'll persevere. I've never seen such numbers of Nasatum as what I'm finding this morning. And this is probably the largest individual group that I've found here. I have a sneaky feeling that they're probably up nearer the surface perhaps, or forming numbers on groups like this to catch the warmth of the early spring sunshine. Blackthorn blossoms, great. This is well out now. Although well, a lot of it is in Nottinghamshire, especially where it's sheltered, but always worth standing and taking five minutes out to look at the blossom of blackthorn. Great for many hoverflies and early butterflies. Just had a comma on a bit of blackthorn that's just over there. You never quite know what's going to turn up. Plus it looks beautiful, 
Who doesn't love blossom? And here's a, another small wood louse. This is the completely white Platyarthus hoffmanseggii. Always and only found in ant nests. And there's numerous individuals here, some which are scurrying to find a safe place and others which are allowing you to view. Small species, maximum length is probably no more than four millimetres. And this is always a subterranean species. It's quite widespread. And if you ever pull your slabs up of your garden path and there's an ant nest underneath, you may well have these wood lice living within. They live in perfect harmony with the ants and they don't always use Lassius niger, the common black ant that will be found in the nests of other species, but certainly seems to be a preference for Lassius type ants. It's a lovely little thing. And off goes the last one in our shot. Well, no success. Silesticus refuses to give itself up again, but it's undoubtedly here. And I've gone various points along this bank in here and then along the railway. And still no joy, but really good numbers of Armadillidium nasutum. And that's nice to see, and even the nice red forms. They're lovely, they are. But may well come again in a week or so because this spring's sort of dragging its heels a little bit now. A month ago, I'd have said it's going to be an early spring, but it seems to have slowed down. And if anything, I'd say we're a little bit behind where we'd normally be for this time of year. But some hawthorns are either in nearly full leaf, or many aren't even open at all, or only just thinking about bursting the buds. And sallows, the goat sallows. Some are in full flower, some are finished flowering, and some have yet to even open. It's a very strange spring. But it's a beautiful day nonetheless. Just a shame no Silesticus convexes again today. <laughs>